European Union foreign ministers have met in Luxembourg to discuss a wide range of issues, including the situation in Ukraine. During a news briefing at the meeting, the European Union's foreign policy chief, Catherine Ashton, said the EU had deep concerns about the situation in Ukraine and that it had adopted several concrete decisions, including the implementation of the non-recognition policy toward Crimea. We started to implement our policy of non-recognition of the illegal annexation of Crimea and decided to prohibit the import of goods from Crimea to the European Union if they don't have Ukrainian certificates. Secondly, we agreed to establish a CSDP mission to assist Ukraine in the field of civilian security sector reform, including police and the rule of law, and steps will now be taken to get an early deployment of the mission during the summer. And finally, we completed the preparatory work necessary for the full signature of the association agreement and the deep and comprehensive free trade area with Ukraine, which will, as you know, take place on the 27th of June in Brussels, together with the signing of agreements with Moldova and Georgia. We're very much looking forward to this. European Union foreign ministers also agreed on Monday to impose an asset freeze and travel ban on 12 Syrian government ministers, accusing them of being responsible for serious human rights violations. The EU said in a statement that the ministers' names will only be published in the EU's official journal on Tuesday when these sanctions take effect. The decision brings the number of people targeted by EU sanctions over Syria to 191. 53 companies and other organizations, including the Central Bank of Syria, remain under an EU asset freeze.